remember this, Jeremy is dealing with a personal and a private matter that is in no way related to academic behavior or disciplinary issues. He has our full support as we look for a quick resolution and out of respect for he and his family, we will not discuss it any further. Sorry, that's what we got. All right, the game, uh, excellent, no question about it. Our guys were locked in. They've had a great week. They've had a long week. They've had a long year. And outside of four or five days, they've been number one in the country for a very long time, other than, than when this week started. I think they've handled it extremely well. Uh, there's no question that, that I'm glad they're getting a break uh, to recharge, go home, see their families, and 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 uh, I, I know most of them will be in the gym. I don't have any worries about that, but they really deserve a break. And, and the great thing about it is they're not playing like they need one. Some teams this time of year, uh, they play like they they need that break. Our team doesn't look like that at all. Our team is is uh, full throttle right now. And, and only going to get better because we're because we're adding guys and uh, you deal with different issues and just deal with it. But but our guys have done a fantastic job, and uh, I thought the fact that the concentration can sometimes waver this time of year, but I didn't see any of that tonight. We had a little span where we had a couple of turnovers, but we were trying to make plays. But to go 26 to 27 from the foul line, I think is really really impressive. Uh, I thought Cody was outstanding. I was asked a question today by the ESPN guys, you know, is Cody meeting my expectations or exceeding them? And I couldn't answer it because I never look at it like that. It's always about, is he developing? You know, is he developing? I, is he getting better daily? You know, there, there's, it's, it's like with all of them. There's a place where you think they can get to eventually, but there's a place they've got to get to every day. And, and Cody is doing such a fantastic job, and it was great to see him. Uh, play the way that he did tonight, and, and Christian's had an excellent week, and I think we're going to see. He didn't get the he didn't get the rebound numbers, but I think he was really doing a great job of blocking out, being in position, playing physical. So I thought everybody did. Uh, I haven't studied this as much, but I thought everybody did a really good job. We were playing against an excellent score, uh, and Greg Gant, somebody that Tim Buckley had compared to Jack Gibbons. You know, our players wouldn't really remember Jack Gibbons, but most of you would. I would. Tim did, and. Uh, the young man's really good. Mike Jarvis is a great coach, been for a long time. And uh, we had a great crowd full of energy, a lot of fan support. And uh, I love where our team is at, and I bet I love a lot more that I think they're going to get a lot better. So go ahead. Coach, uh, you mentioned the break. How long are, are they going to be gone for? When will they be coming back? We'll be back uh, late Tuesday night. And we'll get started from there knowing that we're playing on the 28th. So it's a little, little bit shorter. I mean, a little bit uh, shorter period of time to get ready for a game than what we would prefer. But that's one reason that we played this game tonight, and when, especially when ESPN wanted to pick it up. And uh, so this gives them an extra day. You know, where maybe a lot of times you'd be playing on Saturday. So uh, uh, this worked out. This worked out fine, and uh, I think they'll, they'll they'll be just fine. Honor grabbing ten rebounds in fourteen minutes. Just talk about. I thought he played well. I it reminded him that you actually have to catch it before you dunk it because I think he had a couple Sports Center plays in mind um, before he caught the ball. But he'll, he'll be fine. He, he's still feeling his way through things. But to get 10 rebounds in that period of time is pretty impressive. They're really impressive. And uh, he's tough. He's physical. He brings a different demeanor to our team. And, and uh, I don't want to call him an X Factor because we have a lot of X Factors, but his, his, his toughness. His, uh, his competitiveness, uh, the length obviously speaks for itself, but he really can move his feet. He's just going to get better and better. He's going to look He's going to look that much different two, three weeks from now. So I'm proud of him. Peter will be the same way. They'll, they'll continue to to improve and, and uh, be able to help us. And, and Derek is the one that I feel for because he had really good looks. He just doesn't have the legs where they need to be yet. He doesn't have the rhythm of his shooting. Got a little frustrated because he missed some open shots, but but he's a couple of jump shots away from having his confidence back where it needs to be too, so that's exciting to see. Dustin. You mentioned just uh, Cody's development. Obviously, he's come a long way with hitting free throws the last couple of weeks. It's mm -hmm. like he kind of figured stuff out. Did he change anything mechanically at all? That you a couple things, see? yeah. A couple things we've worked out, but it's it's more just him. So, I mean, he's, he spent a lot of time out of today. Uh, after, well, as the walkthrough was ending, we had a couple of guys. We did some post work, and then we had a couple of guys at the basket. He was with three other guys, and they would shoot two free throws at a time, and he would shoot five, and he went 34-35 in that span. 
and they all look the same, much like tonight's did. So much like tonight. So he took some serious ribbing. We'd have been 100% if he would have uh, made his 13th free throw. We'd have gone 13 for 13. But if we'd have left him in, he'd have probably got a few more. But, but uh, Cody's a very hungry player and, and uh, works very hard at what he's good at and also works very hard at what he needs to improve at. And I think the free throw shooting shows. Tom, Spears shot 70% from the field the other night. He shot 61 in the first half tonight. Just talk about how well you guys are shooting. Ball movement, uh, layups. Some dunks, but, but great ball movement. Um, great next pass mentality on this team. And um, our break can improve. You know, we, we've got to do a couple of, of things uh, conceptually to our break to make it even better. We thought we'd get zoned a lot more tonight, so we spent a little time on that today. But, but uh, it didn't work out that way. But, but uh, the ball really moves. And, and I think they know that they're going to score points. And the more that it moves, the more points we score, the more individual points we score, the better defense we play, the more points we score, the more we get to the offensive boards, I mean, whatever it is. And and we were really committed to making sure we got the ball inside tonight so we could get to the foul line. What's the, uh, what's the process like the next week to 10 days when you kind of work in Hunt or work in Elston and figure out how all that kind of comes together? I haven't really thought about it. I mean, it, it really, it's not much different than what we've been doing now. So I think it'll allow us to continue to turn our defense up. And... Uh, Pressure the way that we want. No, I've definitely thought about how we're going to defend. I mean, that's something that we've been looking forward to and trying to add a few things uh, as we move forward there, so that we can play enough guys and play fast enough, and, and uh, that they'll round into that as we go. But I'm not. I'm not looking at the minutes. It, it's quality. I, I rarely. I, I look at the minutes sometimes uh, during the game, but but it's more about the quality of play. All right, maybe a better way to say, it. What, what is the potential good impact with with those guys back on the? Oh, I think it's obvious. I think it's tremendous. I think I think, I think uh, uh, everybody can play, and and um, there's no doubt about that. And and it's it's just a matter of rounding into it. I mean, you never know what's going to happen in a game. You never know who's going to be hot. You never know who's going to be out. You never know who's going to be in foul trouble. I mean, you just don't know. So, you know, having a deep enough team is 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 crucial. And and we've had moments this week where we weren't deep enough, uh, just for one reason or another. And and. And, and it's not like that can't happen again. I mean, it's, it's, it's college basketball. Things happen all the time, so you just deal with it. But having guys that, that are experienced and, and feeling good, like a hunter tonight, I mean, just look at the difference uh, from one game to the next. You know, he really didn't play very many minutes in Butler, but from one game to the next, look at that difference. I mean, it's just, and I think it's just going to continue to grow. I don't think he'll look at anything like that in three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. He'll just continue to get better and better. <coughs> How much fun is it for you to see the bench act like they did with Raphael Smith at the end of the game? Yeah, that, that was an inside deal going there on charges. We have a certain amount of charges that we need to get, and they felt that they had been robbed on three for Jordan. And they're probably right, but, but uh, uh, Raphael got the fifth charge of the game, and that's a big deal. So that, they're, they're, they love Raphael. They, they, this is a very close-knit group. I mean, they're, 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 they've got some unbreakable bonds. They really do. I mean, they, they, they care about one another. and. Uh, in a great way, and and uh, they get resolved and they get fired up and and they respond to different things, but they have a common drive and and a common drive to improve. And I think when they have that kind of drive to improve and they see each other's talents and they get along so well, it just gives your team a chance to really get better. Was there ever any serious consideration of redshirting Peter because you still had that option? Um, I, I'm not. Probably not. I'll leave that for people to speculate before. I mean, no one really had asked me, and I wouldn't talk about it anyways. We just wanted to get those guys to where they could help us and try to give them the opportunity to do that, you know, based on, on, on where they fit with us at that particular moment. You talked you talk about the players not needing a pause but getting a chance to rest. How about for you personally? I mean, I know it's only a couple of days, but be able to spend some time with your family. Yeah, guys. absolutely. I mean, there's no question, but, but, but I include my family in pretty much everything I do anyways, so... That will never change, and and uh, not a hobby-driven person. I mean, they'll be recruiting. Uh, I actually have my my Christmas shopping done. It usually starts tomorrow, but I fortunately was able to get that done, and uh, did it all myself actually, which I'm proud of. And didn't even have to order things or have Beth do it or things. I got some tips, but but um, no, I, I'm good. I'm great. So I, I, I uh, uh, but when you're the caretaker of the program and you and you. Uh, you're responsible for so many people, uh, players and coaches. That 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 awareness, that pressure doesn't stop. I mean, whether they're here or not, that that doesn't change. So, but but I'm good.
Oh, last question. Okay. Can you just talk a little bit about Victor and how far he's come in the time he's been here, from where he was, the player you first started recruiting? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, well, I think when we first started recruiting Victor, you always have a vision for somebody. And, and um, there's no question he's, he's playing out that vision that, that we would have had that recruited him. Um, to, to, how, how fast it happens, you know, what the strengths uh, become, you know, from day to day, those are always a little bit harder. But, 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 the, but the athleticism, I, the, the one thing is, is as, much, as long as I'd known him and as hard as we recruited him and as much time as we'd spent, I had no idea his work ethic was as strong as it was. You just don't see that because you're not with him every day. And the same thing with Will Sheet. But, but Victor's got an, an unrelenting work ethic. I mean, he's a 365-day-a-year times two guy. I mean, he literally is. And, and, and um, I mean, we can be over with practice. They can have lifted. We can have watched film. Guys can be home, and you'll see him still in Cook Hall, coming back into Cook Hall to work on his ball handling for 30 minutes. I mean, it's just who he is. So he's got, he's got an, a, an incredible drive to be successful. He's a very, very hungry and humble person that when he stays focused and centered on what he does best what he and, 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 and improving those things, he, he, I mean, there's no limit to where he can go. And, and I love seeing all these different people that now, you know, project him, well, he's this player, he's that player, and he could be like that guy. And then that stuff's all great. Victor Aladipo is going to be Victor Aladipo. I mean, he's going to he's going to be a trendsetter uh, in his own way. And he's a game changer here. And and when he's gone, that's not going to change. If he continues to progress the way that he will or has, and if he continues to be as humble uh, and hungry as he is, and if he continues to be uh, as centered in the right way that he is, that, that's a very very. Uh, Strong young man, very good Christian young man, very very teammate centered young man, very family centered young man. I mean, he's got all those things going for him, and people feed off it. And what's starting to really develop is his leadership, his verbal, his verbal, vocal leadership, not just his play, but his leadership. Real quick, how do you guys do academically? Do you, do you know? I tell you, see my tweet. I did. Three point oh eight, tremendous. Uh, everybody, I mean, we everybody's doing great. Everybody's doing great. Again, the four freshmen. Had excellent summers, and they had excellent falls. And and uh, uh, big thing for us is uh, Indiana basketball three finite math zero. So that's big <laughs> for those that went to Indiana. Know what I'm talking about? Because finite you, finite usually wins. So <laughs> our guys our guys did an excellent job. So I, I, I'm proud of them. Thank you.